All right, welcome back. Uh, so in this particular video, I'm working on my third gallery piece, and it is a 3D pop-up piece. Uh, this piece is of Ms. Amber. She was one of my models, and uh, this is uh, attached to the Starboard series of this year, and it's also attached to the um, Hero uh, Hip Hop Hero series. Uh, Amber, Miss Amber Means is from uh, way back in the day, uh, uh, Three Fountains, when I was like a teenager, uh, running around doing things I had no business doing. Uh, now, none of it is glued down, uh, mainly because I can't afford the glue at the moment, so I haven't been able to go out there and get the glue. Uh, so, that being said... Um, Let's go ahead and get into this piece. Now, uh, I will say that uh, this piece is a little bit inappropriate. Uh, if you can see it, then I'm, I'm sorry. If you can't see it, then I'm not going to tell you where it's at. Uh, so, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, here is the piece. I uh, put it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to hold the camera steady enough that it doesn't shake. Uh, but this piece, I'm just going to run over the concept of this one. This one is a uh, Newfound Hero series uh, or Hip Hop Hero series, main series. Uh, this one is uh, really, really cool. Oh, awesome. Also, also, hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Raw, Uncut, and Unedited. So, uh, in this piece... This is going to be a pop-up, so it's going to be able to fold up and then kind of go down as well. And in the back, uh, this is going to transcend from flat to solid, and this is going to be uh, kind of like the bridge uh, of water. So she's kind of walking through the water in the center, and on here I'm going to put a webbing that goes across for the white of the water, and in the background is going to be blues and dark blues and a little bit of a... Uh, a greenish tint and I'm going to put fish in it and then I'm going to put the graffiti going through the center also in that green uh, it's going to be out outlined by that dark dark blue and then uh, over here I want a kind of I probably do uh, E50 E51 for these sides and then I'm going to draw small little bricks and I'm going to color them uh, light grays and stuff like that and then over here I'm going to use oils for the grass I'm kind of iffy on whether I should use the oils I might go ahead and just fall back on my water paint and kind of touch up with oils uh, because I know oils have to dry and they take forever to dry and uh, they also seem to when you lay them onto other things kind of spread the oil everywhere so uh, I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna go about it but there you have it uh, Oh, excuse me. So this is my 3D piece for the second one. I mean for the fourth uh, gallery. But no, it's the it's going to be a third gallery, and they only need one piece. So this is going to be the 3D piece that's going to pop out from that piece. Uh, as you can see, you can see all the tape and stuff is back here. Uh, that will be blended in to the work, uh, or if I can find some glue. Or I could, you know, afford to get some glue to be glued in. Uh, so, really, really simple pieces. I'll go ahead and show you what it's made up of. Uh, this is just a large uh, base. I reinforced it with uh, 170G paper. Uh, and then over here, this is 170. This is 170. Uh, these are 160. Uh, that one's 160. Or these might be 180. Hold on. Uh, let me ch double check real quick. So, uh, these are 160. Those are 160. I know those are 160. I'm trying to think what the other one is. Uh, it looks like they're 224. So, these larger pieces right here, 224. Really, really thick paper. Um, 
basically what happens is the mechanism pulls this in to here. Uh, and up here, this one, the mechanism pulls it this way. So they meet in the center and they kind of create the lining for the bridge. Then over here is a slip so that as it extends back out, it can slip underneath here. Uh, so let's see if I can show, show you it. And then this one, this piece in the center, opens up like this. So, uh, let me close it. Oh man, it fell apart. Okay, so, stick these down. And then when I close it, you can see this starts to move out. You can see this closing. Back here, this one should be slipping out as well. Looks like this one needs to be readjusted in size, but and then when you open it, it squares right back up. So uh, that's the mechanism that I'm working on right now for the 3D piece. Uh, and this piece is going to sit in the center so that it's out like that. And then when it folds up, it'll fold in to the actual piece. I'm thinking about locking, locking it in right here to the paper, that's why I clipped out these, uh, and then I think I'm going to make a second tier with the same V-fold up here uh, so that it sits up just a little bit higher, so yeah, uh, I haven't thought about what graffiti I want in the background. I'm thinking about uh, putting uh, practice and being present or some bee water. Bee water would be really, really cool to put right here. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about this piece as well. Uh, it's not really functional just yet, but when I get it to the point where it's functional and it's working, this piece will look really, really amazing. Uh, really, really simple techniques. Uh, it just needs to be well glued to the paper. And I think that all the mechanisms will work. I'm gonna put a slip over here as well. So uh, looking forward to making this, this piece an amazing piece as well. So uh, I definitely wanna say, uh, Thank you for checking out the video. Uh, I'm still holding it by my hand, so if it's shaking, my apologies. Uh, shirts, uh, donations, uh, let's keep this channel going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, more importantly, practicing being present, and I like that, be water. Yeah.